Hey guys, it's Ben here, and today I'm going to be showing you um, something that isn't on YouTube. Well, I think there's like one other video or two other videos about this, but for the most part, there aren't that many things that can tell you how to do this. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating to you how to make launchpad light shows in FL Studio, um, because obviously this is FL Studio. Um, so let me sh let me let's get started. <laughs> finding it hard to speak here. Um, let's get started. Um, one other thing before I get started is if you click the link in the description they're having a FL Studio 11.5 it's supposed to be like an FL Studio 12 beta but it's not an FL Studio 12 it's FL Studio 11.5 uh, which was supposed to be like 11.2 or something or some crazy shenanigans like that so they're having an FL Studio 11.5 and it's not a beta but it's actually an alpha and if you don't know what an alpha is it's basically like a pre beta so it's like a beta beta i'm 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 speaking gibberish but yeah um it's a it's a pre alpha it's an alpha um and it's pretty good from what i've seen i'll do a video on like a brief thing if you want if you don't then uh please ask but i'm going to start doing more tutorials as well because i think tutorials help a lot of people and yeah so, if you have a launch pad, um, then this is what you can do to make a light show. Um, and what I mean by a light show is basically the colors um, move around on your launch pad instead of it just being the normal static lighting. Like, it's just one light on, and if you press it, it changes color. I'm talking like it flashes and all that kind of stuff. And I haven't seen this on the internet, so yeah, I, I wanted to show you. I've Done, I did a bit of research into it and thought, yeah. So here we go. Um, I'll just bring up the um, pattern. The uh, what am I talking about? The uh, steps, step sequencer. I always forget. I always forget. There. Yeah, I always forget the name of the uh, step sequencer. Um. Anyway, so it's kind of small. This one. I don't know why. I can't even do anything. Anyway. Oh, it's because I got two there. Anyway. So this is what we have. The step sequencer. And I have the the kick sounds, the um, clap sounds, and the hat sounds, um, the snare sound. Sorry, I meant the snare sound. So yeah, basically what you want to do is bring up your whatever your clips are that you want. Um, say you could have a channel if whatever you want. Um, so you want a Nexus channel and you want to just make some kind of piano melody, I don't know, like, um, I don't know, you want to make this, for example. That is your melody. Let's say, for example, that is your melody. And we're going to make it two bars long. Uh, yeah. That is your met. That is your. That is your little pattern that you want to emphasise something on, and you want to make that light light up on the launch pad, and you want to have that coded. Um, in in Ableton, which is the other software that some people might use to make electronic music, um, you use basically the same thing that you will use in FL Studio. It's the MIDI out channel here, um, but they do it separately or differently. So, back to uh, the main thing. What you're going to do is you're going to have your melody, say, in the piano roll, or like this, or on the on these things, on these little keys here. And what you're going to do is go onto the MIDI out, click onto the MIDI out, and you, you have the MIDI out here, sorry. Sorry, I'm speaking gibberish. Um, you have the MIDI out plugin. You're going to make sure the channel, uh, because the channel will probably, be, you want to make sure the channel is on one here. Um, leave the bank and the patch, but make sure the port here, yeah, is on 116. Because what you what you need to do when you plug in your launch pad is go to MIDI settings, and you will have your launch pad up here, and you'll have uh, the ports as either 116 for both 
um, or 115 for both. So you're going to want to change the bottom one here to 115 by scrolling it up and this top one here on the launch pad make sure you have selected launch pad my launch pads um, just in its case over there but I, I might show you that later but or I might show you in a separate video um, but what you're going to do is change the ports so the output is 116 and the input is 115 that will mean that the lights won't come on it'll be like a user one mode in Ableton basically um, and make sure you have this enabled as well because that makes sure that the input is getting into the launch pad and you can always rescan the devices um, okay so once you've done that you're ready to go and you've changed all this MIDI out stuff you don't need to mess with anything else um, this is a code this is a code for a light show I know it looks pretty ridiculous but I will be um, making like a Dropbox account or something so I can share these files with you um, because that it's just amazing what you can do I I didn't realize that you can do this but um, this here is a code um, this C0 that will light up something on the launch pad and so will all these and then if you add other codes here they will light up other things and there is a picture I will place on screen um, now and this shows you what all these notes represent um, on the launch pad so I think it is C0 represents the top left hand corner so as you can see that is why this is first as there are no no other ones that come first then we have for C0 which is the next C sharp zero, that's the next one along. So this this row here goes along the top basically of the launch pad, the top row of the launch pad. And this row here is the second row. But why have we emphasized this part here? Well, that's because we want it to be glowing. So as you can see, we have all these different layered parts. The reason why that has one is because it's only flashing one color. We're not going to have like a strobe lighting yet on the first top left hand key, the launch pad. So yeah, um, we have three here and four here, and then we and then we have five here, but you can't see the fifth one because oh we have more here actually, yeah. So it's it goes up by in two sorry, so. One, two, three. Goes up by one, sorry. One, two, three. One, two. It goes up in ones. One, two, three, four, five. As you can see. So it keeps on going up, and that is what will create the strobe lighting effect. That goes from the top left down to the bottom right in kind of like a an L shape. Uh, a backwards L. And I'll show you that on the launch pad now. Um, I mean, so if you want to change that round, you can always do the opposite. So, if you go up here, this is the bottom, B9 is the bottom right hand key. So, if you want to change that, all you have to do is bring this one across. Are you getting me now? Bring this one across. and keep doing this and that will then go from the bottom right um, and it might take a bit of time I mean but when you have them they are phenomenally good I mean I'll show you some custom scripting someone cu custom scripted um, some light shows for Seamless his song Bass Antics and you can now play this on the launch pad and I'll leave a link in the description for it and everything um, you can now play it on the launch pad with a light show and it is amazing because it comes up with all these flashing lights and things like FL and I think this is a great new step for people who have launch pads because it's just really cool um, so now I'll show you the one for the snare um, this snare one basically if you look up here I'll just drag it this drag this up it's coming from C10 which is the bottom right hand circular button um, I 
think, and B9 is the bottom right hand button, the square button. Um, so obviously this one is going to start from the bottom because you have C10, B9, A, A9 and these all go, this is going from the right at the bottom from the circular key all the way to the left hand bottom key. Uh, I'm speaking gibberish again but um, yeah so E9 is the bottom left key I think. One, you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As there are eight keys on the launch pad, that is the bottom left key. And that is the furthest right circular key. Um, so this one, as we're going from the bottom, and we're going up, this is the second row from the bottom, third row from the bottom, fourth row from the bottom, you get this top row. So what is happening here? Well, as all the clips are playing at the, as all these notes are playing at the same time as you can see they're playing at the same time that means the whole row will light up the whole of that bottom row will light up just like that and this will go on for as you can see one bar oh sorry oops easy well not one bar sorry um uh quarter of a bar I don't, I don't know what the bar system is. One, one bar, you know, one and one and a quarter. Oh, for God's sake, just show Ben. It'll go on for this long. I don't get the bar lengths, you know. One bar, two bars. Well, that's one bar, two bars. So it'll go on for a quarter of a bar, I think. It'll go on for that long. So that's not very long. That's about, well, it's four, it's four, four so it'll go on for one second. Um, if you if you like it that way, because I'm not explaining this very well at all. Um, what's going to happen now is since that's playing at the same time, that's going to light up the whole bottom row, whole second to bottom row, and in sequence, this will uh, go from the bottom right to the top uh, in colour, but. The question is, how do we vary that colour? How do we get the colour so we're getting like a variation? Well, that is where this comes in. This is obviously the um what's it called? The uh velocity, that's it. No, not velocity. Blah blah. Uh the volume or whatever. Yeah, the volume of the notes, and since MIDI out doesn't play anything, as you can see, except the sound of the snare, if you could hear that, um, you know, it doesn't matter how big the volume is, and these actually depend, determine the, um, the, the, bleh, bleh, bleh. these actually determine the light, the colour that the light will be. Um, yeah, so, I think 76 is, you know, 76 is one colour, 70, 60, 49, and someone's mapped this all out so they know what these colours are. Um, so yeah, um, I will just leave that for you or I'll put a link in the description saying what all the colour values are. So yeah, um, I hope this has been a quite a good help for you. Um, one final thing I'm going to show you before I go is the base antics um, launch pad uh, design. Um, so obviously it's the same performance mode um, that the launch pad has for base antics, um, but someone has coded the whole thing. So if you look here, um, different lights do different things now. So this crash one, no, actually, let's not do the crash. Uh, do this one here, shall we? This note here, someone has custom coded it to do this in the MIDI out. And you can keep experimenting with this. I mean, you know, that's obviously going to be all the same colour. And it's going to start from um, probably near near the bottom row. It's like the third from the bottom row. I mean, and 
they've custom co like like look at this for a code. I mean, who would actually code that? It's it's just disgusting. No, it's not disgusting. It's amazing how someone would code that. Um, yeah. So I'll leave this in the description for you guys. Um, until next time. Um, thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>